Hey guys, welcome to a hot and bright one here. Today, got a little to shoot the Silverado, but should be a quick, easy fix, and all we're pretty much gonna need is a pry toolbar or a flathead screwdriver, or in my case. What I'm gonna do today is show you how to change out your brake control, your trailer brake controller switch on your truck if it comes with the factory one. So there's several different issues that you could have with this thing. In my particular instance, one day I left the window down, it rained, and I think there's probably some water corrosion that's happened with that inside of the controller itself. So I'm gonna try to tear mine apart and fix it. Maybe if I can clean it up with a little alcohol or something and make it work, cool. But on really hot days, the trip, the controller appears on the dash like I'm trying to manipulate it and that's not the case. But this right here will fix your issue. You can just get a new one. I'll leave a link down below. You can swap it out. And this also helps you if you have the issue with it saying something about the service, the trailer braking system. A lot of times it's just the switch here. So, so let's go ahead and show you guys how to switch that out. As I mentioned a minute ago, you just need maybe a flathead screwdriver or if you want to be safe and try not to scratch things up, a uh, plastic trim pry tool. But this is an easy job and that's why I like these trucks so much. First thing you got to do, obviously, is open the door. And the first panel we're going to take off is this guy right here. It's just held in by several metal clips. But I'm going to pull on the bottom here. Sometimes you can literally just start popping this thing and work your way around just like so. See what I mean about all the clips back there? Got it. So we didn't need a screwdriver for that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pry these off. You literally should just be able to pull them off or get a screwdriver behind them and pry them out. And they just literally come out. Okay, got them both out. Literally just with my uh, pry tool, my screwdriver there. And you can see it's a little dusty and I didn't scratch a single thing. I mean, you can kind of wedge it in there very nicely to get it out. And now, pretty much final step before we can get to the back of it, pull it right here. Look at that. Now we can pull this out, pull some of the wires and harness. You can see on the back side, there's basically some clips on each side that you can pry with your screwdriver. To get it out. I think that was one side. Well, yeah, it looked like one side. And then I'm gonna do the other side on you and pop it out real quick. And looky there. So now we just looks like maybe there's a clip up top here. You push down to unplug it from the harness, and that's it. So then you get you a new module and plug it in. Or in my case, I'm actually gonna tear it apart and see if we can see. So if you guys if that's all you wanted is how to replace this module, boom, that's it. Plug your new one in, reverse the procedure. It's literally that easy. That's why I love these trucks so much. If you want to stay and hang out and see if we can figure this switch out, then be my guest. We'll go ahead and continue now. I'm going to throw this on the tailgate, break it apart, see if we can see any corrosion or anything. So easy enough, it looks to me like maybe the front and the back come off with these tabs here. So I'm going to try to bust them open that way. Sorry, guys, I don't have my handy dandy... Um tripod so i'm just gonna wing it here Let's see if i can get this thing unclipped or not there's one side so you can see it was just like i thought now if i can get the other side or maybe the front i'm not sure yeah there's definitely a board in here whoops there it goes okay okay so it's just literally a front panel spring on the front side and that's what I was looking for, the control panel here. So I'm gonna take this inside, see if I can clean it up or the pins or something on here to get this thing working. All right, so upon inspection, it looks pretty clean to me. The only thing I'm noticing up here is on these, I'm guessing copper contacts where it slides. It may be a little greasy. The buttons feel good though, and if there's something stuck under the buttons, I can't tell. isopropyl. I'm going to soak this board and just clean it with a q-tip or my hands. As long as this isn't plugged in, it shouldn't damage it. Work these buttons, clean that up. And definitely, definitely let it dry out before you plug it back in. But yeah, just going to clean this bad boy up. Let's put it back together and see if that helps. Now, since it's about 100 degrees out here, that's probably good enough to dry up. So now, set you back down in my awesome spot here and piece this thing back together. So, so I got the front of the housing circuit board so that sits in here just something like it. like so and then the back panel goes on like um, 
make sure you get those pins lined up on the back of the molding here. Come on. There we go. That feels about right. Oh, that, that'll be easier, actually. You can set it up here. You can see it's got a notch in the corner here, so the pins line up good. Good. Okay, now just set it on the back. Click this together. Module's back together. Maybe I won't have to buy a new one. Buttons feel about the same as they were, so let's go plug this thing back in and see what happens. Okay, so we're back over here, and we're just basically going to plug the module back in here, like so. You'll hear it click back into place. Let's plug the harness back in, like so. Plug this back in. Literally just line it up, push it in place. You can see how easy that was. And then for the last step, this blew off down here and I lost a freaking fuse. I'm just gonna set my fuse back in here. And now we just put this panel back on. So line it up with our clips. Something kind of kind of like that. Oh, look, our uh, rubber seal's in the way, so we gotta line it up behind that. And then basically, push it in place. That easy, guys, that was really easy. Oh yeah, we almost forgot. Important part here, we gotta put these back on. I think they only go on one way, I hope. Mm -hmm. I assume it's only gonna go on one of two ways. That snapped in good. And then this one's gonna be kind of over here somewhere. There we go. That works good. That feels good. So I'm gonna drive it around for a few days and see if on one of these hot days if it, uh, if it pops up that notification again. Yeah, guys, literally that easy. That, I mean, that's a super easy job. And as you can see, you can get to the uh, four by four switch back there as well as the light switch. So this is a super easy job. Anybody could do this. All right, guys, if the video helped you out, definitely leave a thumbs up. Be sure to share with your friends that may be having this issue. And if you like this sort of content working on these trucks, specifically the 2014 through 2018 Silverados and Sierras, Suburbans, all those generation, definitely subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of videos on just general maintenance and weird little issues that I run into like this. So definitely check it out. All right, guys, appreciate you watching. Till next time.